Happy Christmas! We are Mark and Amy from Chateau de Rosière in Ardèche, France. And we're here to uh, give you a little slice of our Christmas. We're going to show you the, uh, our Christmas preparations. We, this year we've been uh, doing a Christmas tree that was, uh, it, was quite, uh, it was quite epic as you will see. Uh, Amy had a fight with the tree in the forest <laughs> and uh, we've prepared the nativity scene as well yeah um, and uh, yeah that's basically it Merry Christmas everybody ready should we go and look for a Christmas tree you got any ideas where we're going to go? Um, in the forest we might find one. Yeah, but we one. have 130 acres of forest. Where are we going to start? Uh, How do you do? Let's start from the beginning. It's a very good place to start, but where really are we going to start from? Um, I suggest we start over there. Why? Because... Uh, because uh, I saw some trees over there that might uh, be suitable for a Christmas tree. And we're going with Ignat as well, aren't we? <laughs> oh, and me. Oh! <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. mm. So we're going to start in the forest down there? Yeah. Mm. How many trees would you like? 20, please. Do you carry them? Okay. <laughs> have a baby, I can't. I what kind of tree is it that was uh, broken in the storm? Um, the one I'm thinking of oui. is, I think, a Douglas fir. It wasn't broken, it was bent. What was the one we did? Um, Otherwise, this one's quite nice. Oh. I mean, it's beautiful, but. But it's a nice tree, so we don't really want to cut it, do we? No, I don't think. Well, I don't yeah, know. But you said you wanted a nice tree. Yeah, well, no, what so. I mean is just what I'd rather we didn't have is one that Channel 5 contact us about to put on their programme about how not to do a Christmas tree, which is what happened <laughs> last year's one. There's a few trees here. Mm. Um, you choose. Yeah, but they're quite big. My tree. They only need to be two meters fifty for our There's hallway. There's one that's bent, la. Where? Just... Right, you hold that and direct me. Which which one do you? There's one that's lying down because it was. Uh, uh, made it? it went down. Actually, there are two. Oh, there's a bendy one there. There are two bendy ones, so you choose uh, whichever you like. Well, so. I mean, the, the thing is, the tops of them are, when it's a big tree, they tend to be quite spaced out, so they're not actually that nice. Yeah. Uh, the problem is more that they are uh, Douglas fir rather than uh, is it? real Christmas trees. Uh. Bon, I suggest we cut it and see what it looks like. Pepper, out of the way. Keep the doo, -doo back. Yeah. That's an impressive center you have. It's not gonna go through this tree. It's not that big. Should I do it at 270? Yeah, we can cut it again. If you... It's a pity because that's actually yeah, but a cut nice below bit that below and we'll yeah. see. Uh, and we might we bend might, his yeah. head uh, on, in the old way. <laughs> it's going to be an awful tree. Look, there's no branches in the middle bit. Yeah, but that's against the wall, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but on either side. <gasps> this is a very smooth face here. I wonder why you didn't take the lead. Bravo. Well done. Thank you very much. 
very much. You're a real tree surgeon. I am a proper tree surgeon. at least what do you think it's beautiful Ignat do you like it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't understand why it's Amy who chose it no it's, it's Mark that chose it should we see if this works or not in the house or yeah well, I'm sure it works no? even when it's bent but we can straighten it. Not terribly easily. Side, probably. We have a log from last year. Oh, do we? Do we got to work? I can't believe we just broke that bit off. Wow. Really <laughs> <Well. laughs> <laughs> it's a beautiful day. Nearly sunset. What do you think, Pepper? Oh, Mark's got the log. Well done for keeping it. You right? I can't believe I broke a branch of what's already a really crappy Christmas tree. Ugh. Actually, it's not that heavy, I think I can manage it. Covered in pine sap. Baby. Watch the baby. I think you cut it uh, probably more than three meters. Yes, yeah, no. possible. But we said, didn't we, that we'd see if we wanted to bend the top or even cut it, possibly. Uh, do you want to help me? Because. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> The thing is that the top is um, a bit rubbish and so we could sort of cut it a little bit lower down 
Yeah, but we can shorten it by at Yeah, least, uh, we can shorten it to the lower branches, that's all. Is that yeah. possible? Yeah, but I wanted a bit to make it look nice standing up, that was all. Yeah. It's a bit too big. Oh, nearly. Attack. Wait. Attack. Put it, put it down. You turn it over. Yes, okay, if you hold yeah. it like this. It's fine. Oh, well. Let's try again. Well, okay, I think that we should take off a bit of the top actually because it's not straight anyway. Look, even if it's not actually touching the ceiling because it's so bent, it's not because we're bending it. Or we could just pretend that there's a very large um, wind blowing through the house all the time. No. Mm. Tie it to the radiator like we did last year. Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm going to cut the branch at the back if, I, if that's okay. Which one? This one. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. We'll be able yeah. to put it closer to the radiator. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, actually, it looks really nice right up until you get a little bit. <laughs> Although there is that gap like last year here. Hey, I've got a good idea. Uh, let me get some some scissors. Will you hold the string? Ah. I've got a really good idea. Mm. Can you, Can you hold the string? Yeah. Do you want to know my amazing idea? Yes, can I? I'll tell you if it's straight or not. Mm. I'm start ship sailed a while ago. I'm gonna. What if I? Um, fix some of the branches we have to cut off here as if they're already br their branches. So I make some, I do some literal tree surgery. If you like. I mean, my tree surgery, I don't just cut the limbs off, I reattach them because I'm a tree surgeon. You can try. Oh, this chitting. <laughs> Come on, kitty. Yeah. Can I have a string, please? Thank you. I don't think it'll be like that. Okay. It's a beautiful tree. It is a beautiful tree. Um, hi, sweetheart. Do you like the tree? <laughs> oh, that's a sceptical face. In years to come, you're going to love these trees. Okay. 
oui, t'as une maman. Papa Il est où, papa He's just trying to get it to stay there. I reckon with enough tinsel you won't see my beautiful tree surgery. Well, look at that. I think that's rather beautiful. Make sure you come and see my beautiful tree surgery. That's a very impressive you can't tree even surgery. See, you can't even see no. where it is. <laughs> no, you really can't. When done, it's uh, a part that it's upside, upside down. No, it's and not. It's beautiful. It's drooping just like all the other. Don't touch it, it'll fall off. <laughs> We're not to put any of the valuable ornaments on that bit. It's beautiful. I might, be, a... I might even do some more to make it look better. Also, I've got another cunning plan. Mm -hmm. um, have we got any sort of fishing wire? You know, the nylon um, nylon thread. Maybe so. It's a bit invisible. Because I thought I could pull the top upright and fix it oh, from the ceiling over there. So we just bend mm -hmm. it up. No? It's very clever. Alright. Might try that tomorrow. Very clever. <laughs> I would like to attach this see-through fishing line to the top of the tree and then the other end to something over here so that it can be winched upwards at the same time as attaching the middle part more strongly to the radiator so we're adding some tension to straighten the tree. I don't think there's anything that could possibly go wrong with that plan, is there? Mm, please do. I'm watching you. <laughs> so what I need you to do is firstly find a festive hat like I me. Don't have that I've either. just discovered that the last few days I've been wearing it the wrong way round. Uh. <laughs> I need you to find some more, use that string and around about, oh no, it's already quite there, isn't it? It needs to go a little bit, we need some more anchorage points at the there and potentially to move the bottom out a little bit and I'm going to go around the side and go and watch, oh, watch the um, chandelier and I'm going to um, try to attach this in here so and we've got to try and appear not grumpy and very happy to be doing this I'm very happy but I'm just a bit sceptical um, do you like the fact I'm wearing your jumper? Uh, yeah, and uh, that's why I have the yours which has a lot of holes It's not everywhere. mine, you're not wearing mine. I'm wearing because it's the closest thing I could find to a Christmas jumper. Ah. Um, do you have the tradition of Christmas jumpers in France? Um, somewhere people do. <laughs> I wouldn't say it's uh, everywhere in France. I can't believe there's still peacock poo all over this. Why do they like to stand on it? Uh, to, in, to inspect the work. <laughs> have another suggestion? No. Ah. <laughs> What's your other suggestion? Why don't we get another tree? No! Because this is. I like the fact that we didn't waste the tree we needed to cut this one anyway. I'm sure there's another one you need to get in there. Yeah, but the only ones we're cutting are because they're bent. So No, they can be because they can be because they are too close to another one. You you had that opportunity to tell me that before. 
and you didn't. Well, you're the chief forest manager. <laughs> 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 chief forest manager. How strong is this this fishing line? Uh, I think you can fish a snook of seven kilos with it. Well, that's useful. How likely is it it's going to hold when I try to move uh, a Christmas tree? Uh, reasonably likely. <laughs> or is it just going to break and ping back and throw off all of the Christmas decorations in yeah, the middle of the night? That's possible. Okay. You, will you move the... Oh. uneven. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Okay. Do you know the song Good King Wenceslas? Good King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen when the snow lay round about deep and crisp and even deep pan crisp and even 